Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonnenkoff from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I want to talk to you about Topaz Denoise AI, which has just been upgraded to version 2.3. And the improvements are, number one, in its speed. If you have uh, an NVIDIA graphics card, uh, there is going to be a noticeable speed improvement in how the how it previews the photos and also in the export time. There's also an update to the view, which I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm opening a couple of images. One of the new features is under view, comparison view. And here we can take a look around and compare the original image, which is a DNG file in this case, to how it would process it with uh, denoise, AI clear, and low light. So you don't have to click through all the buttons. I also have it turned on auto, so it's it's doing its own decisions about processing. So Denoise AI usually works great, but you can see here it probably has more detail in it, but you can definitely see that there is some still some noise there. It's trying to preserve detail and it's leaving a little bit of noise. Whereas the bottom two are removing more noise more aggressively and making the image maybe look a little bit smoother. So I think it is important and nice to have this view where you can see all three and pick the one that works best because for different images, it really does make a difference. Sometimes Denoise AI works better, sometimes AI Clear works better, and sometimes Low Light works better. So if you want to switch between them, you just click on the preview and it changes which one is being used. In this case, based on the previews, I think AI Clear looks better, and I'm happy with this result. I still see, see detail, and it looks pretty noise-free. So when I'm ready to save, you'll come to this panel. It's going to preserve the format. So if I started with a DNG, and they do recommend that you start with your RAW file and process the noise out of it and then go in... Um, correct it in Lightroom or whatever other program you're going to use. It says you may see some color shift when working with a DNG file, but uh, you should be able to correct those things in Lightroom. You're also going to save the file to the source directory, which is where the file originally came from, unless you want to change it to something else. So I'm going to click Save or Start, and here you'll see that it'll do the processing. Now, it'll be interesting to see what I get for times. In my older video, I was getting about 22 to 30 seconds on this computer for processing time. In earlier tests I've done with this, I was getting 7 to 15 seconds. You may have also noticed when we were looking at the previews, the previews were much faster. And again, it's because I have an NVIDIA 1070 graphics card and they did an update to improve. Uh, NVIDIA's performance. And that's it. It's done. Each one took 15 seconds. So uh, a nice speed improvement there. Also, they give you this little link you can click on so you can go directly to the file and check it out. Since this is a raw file, it's going to open in Photoshop. If I wanted to, I could have imported it into Lightroom. Okay, and here you can see the final processed image. It is very clean. And very nice. But you can see the color cast um, seems to have shifted a little bit towards being blue. So that's all right. It's a raw file. You still have full control to edit it. And now it's back to looking like it was before. If I want it a little warmer, there you go. And if I open it up so we can see it larger, it's full screen. And I'll zoom into 100%. I'm really impressed with how nice this looks. Really great. You know, you can see the sharpness in the hair and really no noise. And this was shot just by this one candle was lighting this whole scene. So super impressive. If you want to check this out for yourself, I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, it's on sale right now. Topaz Denoise AI is on sale for $59. I think it's regular around $79. And if you use my coupon code, 
you can get a, an additional discount. My coupon code is SNAPSHOT, and it should take an additional 15% off. Also, the utility bundle is on sale, and you can also use my coupon code for that, and the link will also be in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.